What's up everybody, it's Lily618, and normally whenever I do these farewell videos to Call of Duty games, I usually do a, you know, rambling commentary about my experience with the game in the past year, and just talk about the positives and negatives, but today I figure I'd do something a little bit different to send off Advanced Warfare, and that would be to do a top 5. I don't normally do these very often, but I decided this time around, doing the top 5 of what made Advanced Warfare unique in the Call of Duty series was a great way to send off AW. It had a, you know, a wish-washy year. And, you know, a lot of these top five are wish-washy, you know, they had their good and their bad. But I figured that this was a great way to send off Advanced Warfare. Now, just like any other top five, this is my personal opinion. It's not a definitive answer. But for me, this is what the top five things that made Advanced Warfare unique to the series. And also by unique, I mean to the series, not to any other game. A lot of other games have done stuff that Advanced Warfare has done before. But this, to me, made this game unique for the franchise. So let's go ahead and get started and at number five we have one shot the sniper only game mode and to me This wasn't much of a big player for me. This was something that you know I did on occasion I tried it out. I'm not a sniper by any means, but I know a lot of people were asking for games to do this, um, past games like Black Ops 2 and Ghost to put in a sniper only mode, and this gave snipers a great opportunity to go one on one, or in this case 6v6, with, you know, snipers. Now there was some trolling in this game mode, um, and a few times I played where people would just run around knife only, but I think most of the time the snipers in the game, in the COD community, got what they wanted, and they got what they were hoping for, which was a sniper-only mode, and it seemed to be doing pretty well. Now, this game mode did not define Advanced Warfare by any means. We actually have another game mode coming up that I think better defines it, but I think the sniper-only one-shot mode was definitely unique to the Call of Duty franchise, and that's why I made the list. Coming in at number four, we have Supply Drops, and Supply Drops were, you know, they're not unique in the gaming space. These were obviously taken from games like CSGO with the crates, as well as, you know, if you ever did any trading cards, you know, you know, buying card packs or whatever, but the supply drops were very, very unique to the Call of Duty series, basically because they dropped, you know, different costumes, different guns, different, you know, all sorts of stuff, and it made you want to keep playing. That was the one great thing about supply drops, it made you want to keep playing so you could get the one item that you really wanted. I remember everyone really wanted the Obsidian Steed. Um, I got that within the first week. A lot of people still haven't gotten it yet. And for me, that was a great thing. Now, it did turn into advanced supply drops, which a lot of people hated because it was almost like a pay-to-win feature. But I didn't really bother with it. I never purchased any advanced supply drops. Although, if you go on YouTube and look at supply drop openings, there are plenty to go from, and you see a lot of cool items during those videos. But Supply Drops are number four on this list because they made the game interesting. They made you want to grind it out. And number four really g builds up and goes into number three, which was the emphasis on customization. Customization in this game, compared to all the other Call of Duties, was massive. Its emphasis was huge. The fact that during, like, in between games, you can go around in the lobby and look at other people's costumes and look at all the gear they had, to me, was a great thing. You got to see all sorts of different combinations of costumes, and if you if you had a costume, a complete costume or a complete setup, you got later on in the game's life cycle, you got I believe it was like a five or a ten percent um, uh, XP bonus. So you got if you completed the set, you got um, bonus points for it. You got bonus XP for it, and. The emphasis on customization from the outfits to the emblems to the guns, it was huge in this game. And to me, that made Advanced Warfare really unique as far as customization goes, and that's why it's number three on the list. Now, you remember that game mode I talked about being, you know, what defined Advanced Warfare? Well, number two on this list is Uplink. I'm willing to bet that nine out of ten people that are watching this video right now, if I asked you, what game mode defined Advanced Warfare for you? I'm willing to bet 9 out of 10 people would have said Uplink. Because Uplink, you know, it was like Hardpoint was to Black Ops 2, and it was like Blitz was to Call of Duty Ghost. Advanced Warfare's Uplink was the defining game mode in the game. You had to be able to move, it was a team-based game mode, 
you had to play the objective, you had to have cutoffs, you had to be able, you know, to decide, do I go for the one point throw or the two point dunk? And this game mode got compared to basketball, got compared to, oh, uh, there was a lot of different games I forget now. To me, I compared it to like one hoop Quidditch. Instead of having three hoops on each side, you have one on each side. That's just a nerd in me saying that, but to me, it was like a combination of basketball and Quidditch from the Harry Potter series. So, number two, Uplink. Great game mode. Love that game mode. Really wish they'd bring that back in Black Ops 3. I haven't kept up to date, but maybe they have something going on for Black Ops 3. We'll have to wait and see. But number one, and the one thing that caused this, the entire game to happen, that caused the entire game to be as unique as it was, the exo suits, the exo movements, the exo abilities. When these were announced, a lot of people were cringing at the fact that these were coming out. And to me, the exosuits provided something different. You know, the old school guys who've been playing back since COD 4 or even the original Call of Duty on PC. You know, they were really concerned. This, They were like, this isn't Call of Duty anymore. Well, everyone's been screaming that Call of Duty needs to do something different. Exo movement, exo abilities provided that something different. And it was the most innovative and most unique thing, in my opinion, to the Call of Duty franchise that Advanced Warfare did. And that's why it got number one on this list. But anyway, guys, that is my little spiel. That is my top five most unique things about Advanced Warfare. What made Advanced Warfare unique? Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. If you did, smack that like button. Also, if you're new to the channel, hit subscribe. And don't forget to go down in the comments and tell me what you guys thought was the most unique thing about Advanced Warfare. You guys agree with me, the exosuits? Or did you guys have something that was completely not on my list? Let me know in the comments section below. But I'm going to get out of here. Thank you guys for watching and listening. My name's Lil Willie 618 and I'm out. Peace!